Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Today is day five of my life as an expat in Dura, Dubai. So as you see, I'm already up. I'm already dressed. I put my wig on. I even got her in place, honey. She ain't going nowhere. So anyway, today I need to go get some household supplies. I need to get some um, washing detergent, laundry detergent, um, and get a few other things, some water, and just like some food to eat today. So I'm going to take y'all along the journey. Today, I really don't have much to do, a lot of errands to do, just a lot of day trading, a lot of creating content, and um, just basically, you know, living my normal life. So, but of course, I told y'all every single day, I'm going to be showing you my life as an ex back here in Dear Dubai. So make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if this is your first time checking out my channel make sure that you follow me on all social media platforms and let me say this if you follow me on tiktok and you haven't seen my content in a while like i'm really trying to figure out why is tiktok trying to shadow ban a chick because um a lot of people been hitting me up like they haven't seen my content in a very long time so i literally sent a message to tiktok like yo what's goody like why my content not populating on the for you page like it normally has i used to get millions and and hundreds of thousands of views and now i'm getting like 100 200 views so if you following me on all my social media platforms kudos to you if you only follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram and follow me on twitter so that you don't miss my content and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be posting more content on here every single day. That is my goal now. But anyway, y'all, let's get out of here and let's head to the streets of Dubai. <laughs> So y'all, confession time. I really feel like lost without my lashes. I have never been without lashes in like the past like 15, like 15, 17 years. And I decided to take a break on my lashes. Like I took a break on my nails for that brief time, but I might have to go get my lashes done ASAP. I said I was gonna wait, but I don't know y'all. I'm feeling real out of place without my lashes. People are like, oh, you look so cute without your lashes. You look like a baby. I don't care. I like my lashes done. So I'm going to see if I can find some lashes. And then next week, I'm going to make my appointment to get my lash extensions because I'm used to that dramatic look. I don't, I don't know about this one. Okay, so one of my housemates, um, got sick he went to the hospital and they said he had food poisoning so me being the mother of the house um because he is a baby he's actually younger than my son he's 20 years old so i told him i would go get him some ginger ale and just some stuff to um help him to feel better because you know that's what i do so i'm gonna head over to the store get some ginger ale and see if i can find some of my household products there before I hit the main street. So it's gonna be like a two part, shopping real quick and then shopping for real, okay? And the store is literally right around the corner from my house. So it takes me like a minute to actually get there. And this is the, the neighborhood. This is like old Dubai, as you can see. See everybody with their clothes. And Dubai is really big on scooters. Like, I need to get me a scooter because apparently that's how 40% uh, of the people commute around here is on scooters, especially in this area. So, all right, let's go to the store and get what I need. Okay, so I'm looking for a ginger ale. I definitely don't see it. Maybe it's over here with the pops. Mm. Oh, I literally don't see it, so I need to, oh, here it is up here. <laughs> All right, so let me get him a ginger ale. Ooh. I'm trying to, there we go, okay. 
and I need to get some detergent to wash my clothes. I love Tide. So I'm gonna get some Tide and I think that's all I need. So y'all, let me tell you why I love it here. I just bought some washing powder and a ginger ale for a dollar and 20 cent. A dollar and 20 cent. Like, where can you go in America where you can get a ginger, a dollar and 20 cent doesn't even pay for ginger ale, let alone ginger ale and Tide washing powder. I got washing powder because, you know, I just wanted to try washing powder because I never really, used high washing powder but a dollar and 20 cent when people ask me why i love it here that's why i love it here so i found my first drawback to community living i went to wash clothes and somebody's stuff was already in the washer and they told me that i also need to check the dryer racks to make sure that there's space because i'm just used to having my own washer in my own place so i'm used to washing whenever i want to so Maybe I'm gonna try to wash in the middle of the night, but yeah, that's the only drawback that I found since living in a community living space is that you can't just wash your clothes whenever you want you want to. And I'm I'm spoiled when it comes to that. So maybe I figure out a better time to wash late at night, early in the morning, or something because I'm definitely not taking nobody's stuff out because I would be pissed if somebody touched my stuff. So anyway, y'all, let's go shopping because that's my favorite thing to do. So I'm in a store called D&J. So I just want to see what they have here. <laughs> they got wedding dresses. I guess if you balling on the budget and you still get married, you still need a wedding dress. They're cute too. This one is pretty. like this is a resale shop or something yeah this has to be a thrift store because these clothes definitely aren't new looking let's see the prices Yeah, definitely resale stuff. Okay, so let me go where I want to go for real. And they're hiring. They're hiring a Filipino lady. And they're paying 2500 to 3000 So you do the math and what that equals out. And that's monthly, not weekly. Okay, so here's a jewelry shop. I like this bracelet. If I was shopping for jewelry, I definitely would come here because the prices are reasonable. And this is pure gold. So my issue is they have lashes, right? Reasonably priced, but I don't see lash glue. So where do you get the lash glue? That's my concern. And they have makeup but no lash glue at all. And y'all know us as black girls, we use weave glue. So this is a 
half-ass beauty department because I don't see lash glue anywhere. So y'all have a confession to make. I fell on my quest to only eat fruit all week. So, and this day three, yesterday I had cauliflower and fries and I had rice and uh, I'm really trying y'all, so pray for me. But I am eating more fruit, so I'm at the market right now to see what I can find to eat. But I really want some rice and beans. I really want some Nigerian food. So I'm gonna see if I can order some, because that's what I want. But I feel like when I'm on my menstrual, that's not a good time to do a fast. It's really not gonna work the way that I want it to. So in the kitchen, I would cook in that kitchen, but it's so many meat eaters that I don't wanna cook on pots and pans that a lot of meat is cooked in. So I don't want my food to be um, contaminated with meat. So I'm gonna see what I can find something to munch on at Viva, which is a discount store. If not, I'll be ordering food. So I just got some dates, some apples, and peanut butter for $2.70. So um, I love the pricing here. I love how much things cost here. You know, and hopefully I'm dispelling y'all um, y'all thoughts that Dubai is hella expensive because it's actually hella affordable. So now it's time for me to go home, see if I can find some, I really want some rice and beans and plantains. So I'm gonna see if I can find it cause it's early. So a lot of restaurants should be open and it's time for me to day trade, which I said today because I missed like $800 yesterday, not just sitting in front of the computer. So I'm about to go home, set up my charts and just sit in front of the computer all day and day trade. And then I'm gonna create some more content and then I'm gonna go live on my Instagram. So time for me to buckle down y'all because I said that me making this move, I was only focus, focusing on YouTube and focusing on day trading. So after missing so much money yesterday from just like being out on the rooftop, um, drinking with my housemates and just kinda doing other things I said no today, I gotta sit in front of that computer and I gotta make some money, honey, because day trading is how I pay the bills. So, all right, I'm headed back and I'll create some more content. But until then, I see y'all in what, well, for y'all it ain't gonna be nothing. For me, it might be a couple hours though. So y'all see this right here. This is why you wait for the market to do what it's gonna do and you don't just jump into a trade before the market opens. It's 8.30 a.m. And yeah, it went for immediate sale. And who would have thought that? So this is when I just sit and watch and wait to see what's gonna happen. But you definitely, definitely wanna be careful and you need to watch the economic calendar so you know if some crazy shit is gonna be happening and at what time the craziness is gonna be happening. Good morning. As you can see, I am doing a facial. So, um, let me tell y'all, yesterday was a crazy trading day. Um, it was the FOMC day, which I shouldn't have traded, but I did and I lost money, but it's okay. Um, I ordered some food yesterday from an African restaurant, um, Africana home, um, food restaurant, whatever it's called. Anyway, I ordered bean porridge because I wanted some bean porridge and fried rice. And y'all, it was so much fucking meat in my food. I was so disgusted. So, of course, they gave me a refund. And that kind of dampened my mood because y'all know that I love food. And so, when my food is not right, it fucks up my mood. Like, anyway. So, um, another update about my lashes. I just found lash glue on Amazon so I just ordered some lash glue um, so that's going to be coming Saturday I'm super excited about that because I'm over not wearing lashes I'm just over it I'm going to do it myself until I go get my lashes done next week um what else update happened yesterday 
that's pretty much it um i just wanted to do a follow-up because yesterday i didn't end my video and so this is actually going over in today six i believe but i just wanted to come on here and do an update and kind of tell y'all about my day yesterday my trading was blah my food was blah but i got lash glue i got a chance to kick it with my neighbors on um the rooftop i washed clothes i finally got my clothes in the washer y'all like i literally had to stalk the washer um and the person that was washing before me he was like he put his clothes in for 15 minutes so as soon as the 15 minutes was up i was going to go get him like hey take your shit out so i got a chance to wash my clothes yesterday and i actually put it outside to dry because that's how you dry in dubai and my clothes was dry by the time i woke up at 10 o'clock in the morning so don't don't sleep on it don't think that drying your clothes outside is primitive that is the natural way or the normal way here in dubai and your clothes will dry overnight and you don't really got to stress about it so anyway y'all i'm about to get up out of here um get ready to start my day for day six so stay tuned for that video coming up next but don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to follow me on all social media instagram twitter snapchat tiktok i'm everywhere y'all I'm out of here. Peace.